What is going on guys, once again Michael or Legacy Kill HD back and as most of you know now, Fallout 76 has been announced and it is Bethesda Game Studios next title. There are some interesting notes I want to touch on before we get to this actual trailer. This is a game that's apparently going to be putting the Fallout series in a brand new direction. This is not a traditional single player RPG that has been noted by Jason Schreier of Kotaku. He's the guy who leaked all the Fallout 4 documents, uh, I believe it was a couple months before the game was actually announced. Now, this kind of makes sense. We've heard Bethesda talk about they wanted to do other types of things, and I guess this is other types of things. It's going to be very interesting how they go about this. Could this just be co-op? Could this be some sort of uh, huge multiplayer? We don't know yet, and we probably won't know until E3 2018, which is probably about, what, 10-11 days until Bethesda's conference. Nonetheless, getting into this trailer, it is a very big tease, but there are some huge notes. There's a West Virginia song in the back background. That more than likely is the setting. Vault 76 was mentioned, I believe, in Fallout 3 to be in Virginia, so I guess Bethesda just chose to put it in West Virginia, unless it's both of those states combined. Either way, the game does take place in 2102 that's found on the Pip-Boy, which is not the typical Pip-Boy we've been used to. I believe this is the same Pip-Boy that was in Fallout 2, not Fallout 3 or Fallout 4. So that's going to be interesting how we use that, or maybe some of the differences that we see with it. But this is a very big prequel. This takes place, I believe, what, 25 years after the bombs fall? So it's going to be very interesting to see how the world is then. And I guess there's going to be a lot of differences between, I think, Fallout 4 took place, what, 180 years later? And as we continue through this trailer, you can see it's very lively within this vault. There's a lot of celebration going on. We don't actually see anybody except for one of the people within this vault, and that's more than likely our protagonist. But as we get to one of the rooms, we can see a mini nuke, we see some other stuff, a blast radius game, and then we also see a poster on the wall which says 1776 to 2076, Vault Tech Salutes America, the official vault of the Tricentennial. I believe I said that right. And as we continue to the next scene, we actually see a color television, something that we have not seen yet in any of the Fallout games. It's always been black and white, so that's very interesting, and that may connect to the Please Stand By image, which had a lot of other colors on there, which confused many. But we also see, I believe that's a Mothership Zeta uh, action figure. And then there's obviously some other things there. I find it very interesting. Maybe there's some vehicles. Maybe that's a little tease at that. And then there's a couple of other things there. I think there's a little magazine that says Scouts life and I can't necessarily see the other ones but it seems like all these little action figures connect to things that we may see in the world of Fallout 76. For the next scene we get a look at outstanding achievements, a lot of awards which may have gone to our protagonist which may mean he's a seasoned individual who's been around, he's been trying to survive. It's kind of a really big guess but there's a lot of mentions at bravery, the best looking man, just kind of I guess little fun things but I just find it very interesting. Within this vault, there's like nobody around except for this one individual. Maybe that means everybody's already gone to the wasteland. So that pretty much is the big notes that you should take away from this teaser trailer. Now there are some other interesting things I want to go over. Uh, there's also a computer screen which has a vault tech invitation, so I don't know what that may mean, and maybe vault tech's inviting them to finally leave the vault. That's a very big guess. I don't know necessarily vault tech's fate just a couple of years after the bombs dropped, or 20 years after the bombs dropped. So there is some background information on Vault 76. It, vault Tech Terminal in the Citadel lists Vault 76 as a control vault with 500 occupants. The vault was designed to open 20 years after nuclear war. Now obviously this game takes place 25 years after the nuclear war. So what I think may be happening links to that big poster that says Reclamation Day. We also see all the celebration. It looks like a party just happened, but I think this party may have happened years ago. It just looks like everybody left and went to the wasteland and maybe they died within the wasteland. And maybe there's only one person left and that being our protagonist. Again, that's just a huge guess, but I think that's the most plausible, at least right now, unless somebody can tell me down the comment section below if you have a better one. But I will add, I have a feeling that he's been around and has explored the wasteland and he's just figured out how to survive. If there's anybody else with him, we don't know of it yet. 
And as most of you know, Vault 76 obviously connects to Mothership Zeta, the add-on for Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. So it's been mentioned in both of these games. We never knew exactly where it was. It's kind of been one of those mystery vaults, but now we know it's either in Virginia or West Virginia, and only taking place 25 years after the bombs dropped. But pretty much those are the big takeaways that you should make right now. There's a lot of speculation that's going to be going around until that official trailer drops, but for now, we do kind of have a brief idea of what Vault 76 or Fallout 76 will be like. We haven't seen anything of the wasteland. We don't know necessarily what we're going to be exploring and honestly what type of game this is. We know there is some sort of multiplayer in play and I do find all the little action figures as teases to the world. We see some vehicles, a Mr. Handy, an iBot, a Mini Nuke, a UFO, a few magazines, and a few other things that could be teasing at some of the things that we may encounter and be able to use within the open world. Either way I have to say I am surprised that Bethesda is going down this road. There has been some talk about them experimenting with a freemium model so that kind of has me a little bit worried but in a sense this is Fallout Online in a way. It just really depends how far they go with this. Anyway guys what do you think of this teaser trailer? What do you think about Bethesda making another Fallout game before getting to the Elder Scrolls or even the new franchise which we all predicted was going to be called Starfield? Anyway guys thank you for watching. Make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value and consider subscribing for more videos like this and I'll see you later.